Paminsan-minsan po ay mayroong lalapit sa pari at sasabihin, Father, that was a good Mass. Paminsan-minsan mayroong lalapit at sasabihin sa akin na yung misa nila sa parish kahapon ang galing po ng misa namin, Father. What do you mean when you say it was a good Mass? Anong ibig sabihin nung ang galing nung misa? Magaling yung kanta? Magaling yung homily? Maganda yung altar? Mabango yung insenso? Guwapo yung altar server? O guwapo yung pare? Kaya maganda yung misa. What makes you say that the Mass is good? And then my next question is, is there a Mass that is not good? Is there a Mass that is not rich? Is there a Mass that is low and not high? Truth be told, my dear brothers and sisters, is all Masses are good. Sapagkat ang galing ng Misa ay hindi nasa guwapong pari o magaling na choir o modulated na lector o commentator. Ang galing ng Misa ay hindi nang gagaling dito. The goodness of the Mass The greatness of the Mass, the height and depth of the Mass, does not come from human beings. Because the Mass celebrated at St. Peter's Basilica is as beautiful and as good as the Mass celebrated in our chapel in Pantal. There is no difference. Ang totoo po, kahit saan, kahit kailan, kahit sino ang nagbimisa, ang lahat ng misa ay magaling. Ang lahat ng misa ay kataas-taasan. Ang lahat ng misa ay maganda. Bakit? Sapagkat ang misa ay hindi gawa-gawa ng pare. Ang misa ay hindi gawa-gawa ng praktisadong choir. Ang misa ay hindi gawa-gawa ng mahuhusay na altar servers. Ang misa ay gawa ng Diyos. The Mass is an action of God. The Mass is the Word of God. And therefore, there is no Mass that is not good. There is no Mass that is not high in, in beauty. Because the beauty of the Mass does not come from architecture. It comes from God. The goodness of the Mass does not come from the good-looking priest. It comes from the goodness of God. The goodness of the Mass does not come from a good sound system. It comes from the goodness of God. And therefore, where God is, there is always a good Mass. Mga minamahal kong kapatid, ngayong linggong ito, ang piyesta po natin ay body and blood of Christ. Tayong mga Katoliko, sinasabi natin that the Eucharist is real presence. Real presence of God. Hindi ito kunwa-kunwari. Hindi ito symbolic. Hindi ito tanda-tanda. Ito ay Diyos mismo. Ang narinig natin, sabi ng lektor ano, The word of the Lord. He did not say the word of Emmanuel. He did not say the word of Father Sok. It is the word of the Lord. And if it is the word of the Lord, how can it not be good? If it is the word of the Lord, how can it be beautiful? If it is the word of the Lord, how can it not be deep and high? Ang Misa ay hindi nakasalalay 
sa nagmimisang pare o kumakantang choir o nagbabasang lektor because the Mass is the presence of God and the Mass is an action of God. That is why the Lord repeats the words of the Lord Jesus, This is my body and this is my blood. Marami sa ating kabataan ay magsasabi at ito ay reklamo rin ng mga magulang. Father, hindi na ho nagsisimba yung anak ko. Ayaw ho niyang magsimba kasi boring. Ayaw na ho niyang magsimba kasi wala naman siyang napupulot. Wala namang take home value. Bakit pa ako magsisimba? You know, when I was a small boy, being prepared by my mother and my sister for First Communion, a few days before my birthday, which was also my First Communion Day, I told my mother, I told my sister, I also told my aunt, who is a manang in the church, sabi ko, hindi ko naman maintindihan tong misa. Eh, paano ko magpa-first communion? Hindi ko naman talaga naiintindihan. Memorize ko yung prayer, pero hindi ko naiintindihan. Nung maliit na bata ako, kapag nagsisimba, marami akong nilalaro sa simbahan. Kamot ng katawan, Tingin sa kisame, tingin sa katabi, naghahanap ng kakilala. At sabi ko sa nanay, hindi ko naman ho And my mother said, magsimba ka lang. Balang araw, maiintindihan mo rin yan. Balang araw, maiintindihan mo rin yan. 35 years na akong pare. 60 years old na akong tao. Hanggang ngayon, di ko pa rin naiintindihan. Pero, misa pa rin ako ng misa. Inuulit ko pa rin yung sinabi ni Kristo. At napansin ko, kahit di ko naiintindihan, bumabait yata ako. Kahit hindi ko naiintindihan, Lumalakas yata loob ko. Kahit hindi ko naiintindihan, lumilinis yata ang isip ko. Kahit hindi ko naiintindihan, nabibless yata ako. That is the mystery of the Mass. Sa mga utos ni Kristo, sabi niya, patawarin mo yung mga kaaway mo. Napatawad na ba talaga natin? Sabi ni Kristo, ibigay mo lahat sa may hirap. Binigay mo lahat sa may hirap. Sabi ni Kristo, kapag sinampal ka ng isang pisngi, i-offer mo yung kaliwang pisngi. Ginawa na ba natin yon? Sabi ni Kristo, magtiwala ka kahit ibigay mo lahat-lahat. Tingnan mo ang mga ibon, inaalagaan ko sila. Nagawa na ba natin yon? Hindi pa natin talaga nagawa yon. Ang kaisa-isang ginagawa lang natin, kahit di natin naiintindihan ay ano, magsimba kahit di natin naiintindihan. And even if we are not able to understand, the Lord changes us slowly, slowly, slowly because that is the mystery of the Mass. Mga minamahal kong kapatid, kung hindi po na niya iintindihan kung ano talagang nangyayari sa Misa, pag ho kayo mag-alala, pati ako hindi ko rin naiintindihan. Pero ginagawa ko pa ulit-ulit yung utos ni Kristo at nararamdaman ko dahan-dahan, dahan-dahan, hinuhubog niya ako upang maging kamukha niya. We will not be able to understand the mystery of the Mass. If you're looking for entertainment, don't go to Mass. If you're looking for a joke, 
don't go to Mass. If you're looking for a priest who sings at the homily, don't go to Mass. Go to the bar. Go to the restaurants. Go to the movies. Eat ice cream. Sasaya ka. But for the Mass, make an act of faith. Just say, I believe. The crisis of our young people is not because the Mass is boring. It is not because the Mass is dry. It is because our faith is dry. Our faith is low. Our faith is almost dead. Because when your faith is strong, the Mass will be the most beautiful part of your day. You will not be able to understand. But just keep coming. Just keep receiving. Just keep repeating Amen. Even if you cannot understand, the Lord slowly will make you slowly like Him. And at the end of the day, isn't that what we want to be? To be like Jesus.